Hey everybody, welcome to Uncle Dave's Brigade. Today we're continuing in the summertime sounds. We're going back to 1962 with Dick Dale and it's Miserlou or Miserlou. I've heard it pronounced both ways, but it was a big hit for him in the early days of the surf sound, surf music. So uh, listen real carefully to the tone that he's using and uh, try to guess what region of the world that it comes from. It's not, uh, not American, I can tell you that. So listen to the tone, the tone of his guitar. It'll give you a clue as to what region of the world that that music comes from. So if you're new here, the way I do things is I talk to, in, talk to you in the beginning, talk at the end, give little tidbits of information, history, that kind of thing. But I do not stop the video. I let it play all the way through. Now, today I have an album cut. The uh, in-concert video wasn't that good, so I've uh, got an album cut for you. But Dick Dale at um, 1962. So let's jump in and we'll go from there and I'll tell you more about it later on. We can give you some trivia. Stay tuned. <laughs> Did you guess it? Did you catch what uh, area of the country or the world that that music comes from to beat the sound of chord structures? Middle Eastern. And uh, I guessed it right. I wasn't quite sure myself until I started listening to it uh, real closely. I heard it as a kid, but I uh, didn't pay that much attention to it as far as where it came from, but I knew it sounded different. Uh, Dick Dale is of Lebanese descent, and his uncle taught him to play some of the Middle Eastern instruments that we don't play in the West, and uh, picked up on that whole vibe, and so whenever he got to the guitar, he played the piano, played the trumpet, and then he learned guitar, and then he really took it off and, and learned guitar in a you know, great way. He's left-handed guitar. He did not reverse the strings. He played it uh, the way the regular guitars play, but he had to play it backwards. And so that's a, it's a quite a feat. Uh, Jimi Hendrix played uh, left-handed, but he reversed the strings to play it. You know, so, but a uh, little difference in technique there. But he, uh, Dick, uh, he created this sound out of the Middle Eastern chord structure. He did not use Western chord structures. So he took that from, from them and made this unique sound. And he is considered to be the father of heavy metal, one of the fathers of heavy metal and uh, rock, because he was the first among many uh, who 
really use high amperage vote uh, on his um, playing. In fact, he worked with Leo Fender of Fender Guitars to put together the first 100 amp get electric guitar. And they, he went to work with them and he hooked up to some of their amps and he blew out so many amplifiers. They said, well, we got to do something. He also used really heavy uh, strings like uh, C.V. Ray Vaughn did. So that puts a really big sound out and he plays like a maniac. So that um, puts a lot of amperage into and turn the volume up. He puts a lot of into the stresses out the amps. So they built bigger and better amps and a bigger, better guitar because of that. And so he was instrumental in getting those uh, those types of sounds out there. And he's very influential. I mean, the people that he influenced in style was uh, just some of the people. Jimi Hendrix, Pete Townshend, Van Halen, and Brian May. So those are the people that look back to him, excuse me, and said he was very influential in how they... Uh, now, you might recognize this song from something else, too. It was uh, played heavily in uh, Pulp Fiction, the 1994 movie. It was extremely popular with John Travolta. And so you may have heard that song somewhere before, couldn't quite figure out. But it is actually a Greek folk song from the 1920s that was played on Middle Eastern type or Eastern type uh, Mediterranean type instruments. And uh, so he took it and aimed it up and really turned it into a rock and roll song, surf sound song. So that was among one of the first. But that's a little bit about uh, Dick Dale. We'll get some more of him on and um, we'll continue down our road of summertime songs. So down below, if you got a summertime song, a surf song or some other uh, rock song that you want to hear, I would be glad to try to play it. So. Thanks for dropping by. Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourself. And come see me again. Bye.